when we first began to tape, and I was doing a commercial for uh, an electric organ company. It wasn't Hammond, but it was a, I don't remember the name of it now. And something went wrong. And I said, uh, and we did the show in real time and had to be out and it went into overtime if we, if, if, uh, if we got a late start or something. And, and, but we were taping 8.15 to, uh, to 10. So I did my commercial and somebody had kicked a plug out of the wall. So the electric organ, when it hit a chord, did nothing. And of course, audience laughter. And I, I tried to cover it by making clear it wasn't the fault of the organ. <laughs> I said, it has to be plugged in. You know, and, did, and then I did, the commercial went a little longer. I thought it was all right. The agency people came rushing out after the show was off and said, we've got to redo that, retape that commercial to insert. It. And I thought, wait a minute, we don't dare start here. We're going to be here till 3 a.m. redoing it, fine tuning every commercial. So I said, well, if you really want to do it, get in touch with my agent and find out how much it will cost because I'm contracted to do this show live in real time and you live with what you get you know and uh, and uh, they decided right then to make a policy they would not redo any commercials or any part of the show or it would have been an all-night session you know or, or up to airtime trying to get things right uh, so that's another of the fundamental differences between tape and live did the advertising agencies uh, how, how did their power compare in the 50s and 60s to what it is now it, it was very their power dwindled when participating sponsorship came in. In the old days when uh, American Tobacco uh, alone did the hit parade, they were tyrants, they really tyrannized things. When you began to get a lot of different sponsors, like on The Tonight Show, uh, if one of them was offended and wanted to leave, you'd say goodbye, that made room for the next one to come in. So the, there was not the tyranny of sponsorship that had existed. 